Revelio. Revelio. Oh, this day has gone on too long. The traffic is too Dallas. They come after me, they'll rest in ten graves. I don't see myself doing this sort of thing for Betting on the dragon fights was the best decision I've made yet. You can feed a beast. Or it can feed you. I prefer the latter. Revelio. Seems quiet. Too quiet, if you ask me. Can't figure out why there's such a fuss over poaching. There's enough dumb beasts for everyone. Rally behind strength, and you can't go wrong. But when minds stand behind weakness, it seems we may have an intruder in our midst. Revelio. Come out before I... What was that? Glacius! Defender! Bombarder! <laughs>
Revelio. Would you please meet with me in the Great Hall? I have come upon a difficult time. Are you familiar with the Hamlet of Irondale? It's south of the castle. I think the cave that Doran wanted us to find is near there. Revelio. Revelio. What do you have in store for me this? Fast the high wing. Rebellion. I was only following orders. Leave your accusations in someone else's direction if you don't mind. Fall dead asleep on my feet, I could. Wonder if Ranrock and his crew are in there. No sign of Lodgok out here. He must be inside already. Revelio. This place is teeming with Ranrock's loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me.
This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. Just like Gringotts, but I'm in the driver's seat this time. Something seems wrong. How deep will this take Red me? Redrum's gonna be pleased with our progress. Who was on that car? Yeah, will you? That has to be the end up ahead. I wonder where these pipes go. to worry about.
You've one less follower, Ranrock. Revelio. Incendio should be enough to light these flames. I hope I can get to Ranrock before Loggog does.
Another drill is complete. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's loyalists.
This. What is this you've brought me? It cannot be. All this time. You knew. You knew where it was. Don't! Are you all right? I will never understand you, Lord Gok. So, Gollum, that witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time. Looking everywhere for the final repository. Searching in vain for Bragpaw's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind! No! Abana Kadabra! hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. Revelio. Now to get out of this blasted place. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the Keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is.
hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Loggok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Revelio. Pleased to be included. Rebellio. Revelio.
Revelio. Wonder who lives here. Revelio. is one of my favorite hamlets in the area. Revelio. You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Anne's worried. She said Sebastian promised her that I would be there if she went to meet him in the catacomb. But now he's asking her to join him immediately and to come alone. She says he doesn't sound himself. Meet us at the catacomb as soon as you can. I hope that my quill has conveyed my message clearly. Revelio. Bombarda. Confringo. Is that a... It is. I believe I know what must be done. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? That's a head. I can't say that I do. It appears to be a fearsome beast known as a graphorn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a graphorn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of graphorns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Have you ever subdued a graphorn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favour. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. 
Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Revelio. Well, he wasn't looking, I snatched it. His own fault. Rebellion. This must be the place. <laughs> These rocks have seen better days. Revelio. <laughs> Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself.
Bombarda.
need your help, friend. Race now, my friend. Slow down now. There we go. Poachers. Let's see how the Lord of the Shore feels about his neighborhood being invaded. I hope you have your affairs in order. Rookwood, don't go down easy. Sightseeing. Time to go a little quicker. It'll take more than this to stop the Lord of the Shore. Ah! <clears throat> Cost us our friends. We had that burning woman till you showed up. I should investigate. We're crossing that bridge whether you like it or not. You're I've heard centaurs quieter than you. Get over here, you excellent! Time for you all to clear out.
Revelio. Perhaps Professor Rockham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Revelio. Hello? Is it Dora? Is it Dora? Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father... Percival... What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neep was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. Turn to your common room, all right? What have you done? Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? He won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora. Set down your wand. Professor, you 
taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now? If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. <laughs> 